Hi, welcome to the ADA Tuition Trainer Training Guide. Please log on at www.adatuition.ph. Your username and password will be located with your coordinators. Please check with them to get your credentials. Once logged in, you will see your name on the top right hand corner. Next to that on the left will be a list of all of your students. You can check each student's usage separately. There is also a teacher account for you to try the different topics. Now let's get into how the program works. Welcome to ADA Tuition. My name is Arshi and today I'm here to walk you through the features you need to get started on your personalized learning journey. To begin with, we will start with a lesson plan where you can find the complete set of lessons that you need plus assessment questions and review videos where they explain the assessment questions. The next is the topic map, which contains adaptive assessments and extra practice questions and the mock exams. The third is the report card feature, where you can track your progress and make sure that your children are watching the complete videos. To begin with, let's get started with the lesson plan. The first thing you'll do is select your subject and then click on the lesson plan on the left. Here you will find that you have all of the different topics that you need for the entire year. So you have algebra, you have fractions, percentages, ratios, circles, etc. If you expand one of the lessons, you will see that each lesson follows a three step process. The first is the teaching video, which is your algebra expressions in this case. It is a 50 minute video lesson where the teacher will explain the entire topic. The next is the assessment where you will practice questions based on what you've just learned. The third is the review video, where the teacher will actually explain the assessment questions that you've just done. So for example, if you get something correct, you can still watch it to understand how the teacher approaches it, maybe any strategies that the teacher discusses, or any other useful tips that they might have. If you get one of the assessment questions wrong, you should definitely watch the review video so that you can get a better understanding of how to approach the question so that you get it right the next time. As a parent, if you want to check how your child is doing but you're not able to sit with them while they're doing it, please click on the view history button on the right and you'll be able to get a complete record of when they started, when they ended, how many questions, how many were attempted, how many were unattempted, how many were correct, wrong, and the action button, which you can click on to get the exact worksheet that was done. Exactly how many were correct, exactly how many were wrong. Okay. So this is the lesson plan section. This is where you will find your complete lesson. Next, we will move on to the topic map where you find extra practice questions. So the topic map is located here on the right hand corner. So you click on that. And here we have a range of different topics and we can pick one. So for example, if you have a test coming up in ratios, you'll just click on ratios, select an option to create an adaptive worksheet, select your skill level and the number of questions that you have. The reason that this is an adaptive worksheet is it actually adapts to the skill level of the child. So for example, even if I select beginner and I select five questions, only three of these questions will be beginner questions. The other two, one will be skilled and one will be an expert level question. And if you get these right, then the next time you generate a worksheet, even if it's another beginner worksheet, there will actually be some tougher questions included as well. Because as I mentioned, the system adapts to the learning abilities of the child. There are between 40 to 100 extra questions per topic. Now, as a parent, if you'd like to check how your child has performed, you can simply click on view history on the top left this one and it will bring up a record of every single attempt that your child has done so again we have the start time the end time the number of questions how many were attempted how many were unattempted correct wrong and action if you click on this you will get the exact worksheet as well in order to find your mock papers that is also located in the topic map section they're located over here on the top right hand corner i can simply click on this and i will see all the mock papers that i am entitled to the mock paper should only be taken once and therefore we recommend taking it after you've finished all the lesson plans, learned your lessons, done the topic map, extra practice questions, and then take the mock exam. Now, on to part number three. The third part of this is the report card, which you can scroll down and you will find over here. 
you simply click on, you can either click on the day that work has been done because you will see that they've been highlighted in red or you can click on view details on the bottom. Here I can change my date range. So let's say I pick the last 30 days and I will get everything that the child has done for the last 30 days. The way that it's structured is that you have the subject, you have the lesson number, what part of the lesson it was, and what type. Was it an assessment, was it a video, or was it an adaptive from the topic map? The most important thing to look out for here is the video, and if your child is actually watching the video. So the actual use time tells you this. Here we can see that only one minute was actually watched, whereas the total duration was 22 minutes. This will sometimes happen if you watch only one minute, but you drag it all the way at the end. So even if you drag the video all the way at the end, the actual use time will still capture the fact that only one minute was watched. This is a great time to have a conversation with your child and check why they're not watching the full video if this is the case. For example, again here, it was only four minutes out of 29. You can also see your assessments as well as your adaptives, but the main thing to highlight would be the video timing.